If you haven't checked out Patrick Sterling on YouTube, uh, you need to do that. This guy is just a genius with fusion templates. And the other day I got to catch up with him and learn a little bit about something fancy he's working on. So Patrick, show me what you got, man. This is, this is uh, really exciting. Yeah, so right now um, I have one preset available to the public for free. And this is the first preset of what will build to be a, a pack of pretty dynamic and powerful graphs. So here mm -hmm. I have a little simple circle. And as soon as I start playing, it animates on. It's nice and smooth. It's oh, nice and slick. Yeah. Uh, over in the inspector, we have all these custom controls. Um, the first being this super important value. Um, this is, you know, a percentage base. So it's zero to 100. And it wow. will slide to that number in the exact same period of time, no matter what that value is. Oh, that's nice. So you don't have to make it like actually take up more time yes just... yeah so it the animation itself always takes place in the same amount of time but we have nifty controls to control that time uh right under where you set that value we have two settings for animation time scale and time offset so you might notice that animation starts right from the very beginning and if you're using this somewhere in a video uh, where this graph will pop up on screen it might be a little jarring if your animation starts right away so if you pull up this time offset just a little bit, then it will hold and then animate on. That's nice. And then the time yes. scale along with that, if you think this is too fast, um, this is like a proportional time scale. So if I pull that to 0.5, uh, it's going at uh, 0.5 speed, so it'll take half as long. So now you got a nice little slide. Oh, yeah. You really feel the ease at that point. Yeah, I like how it eases. Yeah. And it's That's the so same nice. amount of ease, but when you play it over a longer period of time, you feel that ease a bit more each time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, some general stuff like master scale and the thickness of that graph. Oh, and the position there. If you want to slide it somewhere over, you can do that here. Um, and then the graph itself, you can change up the color, and you'll notice that color affects both sort of this background circle uh, and the main data circle. But oh, yeah. depending on what you think of that background circle, we have an opacity slider for that. So you could, you know, bring it all the way down completely. And that feels like a pretty different look. Um, it might be a little yeah. harder to tell it's a circle depending on how far it goes. But you can also control the exact look. And uh, we have one of the things I really like about this specific one is this orbiting text. It stays Yeah, locked. I'm wondering how you did that. that that's Yeah, magical, it's pretty, yeah. I like that a lot. This is using... Uh, the vector result modifier. Um, yeah, so um, it's looking at the uh, the same calculation that is running this bar is driving the angle of this text. So mm. it's sort of I'm using the same raw data in two different ways. So I am pushing the angle of this label, but the distance is actually pushing from the center of the circle. So if I pull down to text distance, I can change how tight that is, and it still orbits. Gosh, that's so cool. At that exact same distance. So especially if it's like tighter and you come down to text and scale that down Man, by it default, like it's pretty you could really bold. customize this. I mean, even, you know, it's funny because like this is just, it's just one graph, but mm. you could make this, I mean, so many different ways and use different fonts and all that stuff, man. Absolutely. So cool. And then even, you know, drop a few different versions on one timeline and, you know, slide your position over. You have one blue, you have one whatever. You can change your label, um, change up the values. You can like build little UI elements. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, bring the text scale down to zero if you want to get rid of it. Yeah, a small, like simple individual element, uh, but pretty easy to, one, get different looks, and two, use this as an element in some larger design. Yeah, you can make, mix and match it. Man, that's this is going to be so useful. I mean, I don't think that there's a lot of stuff like this out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just like one nice, clean element that you can put on anything. That's what I think is missing from the kind of the templates arena, especially for Resolve, mm. is just these nice, clean, customizable little elements that you can just mix with other things, man. That's that's why I'm so excited about this is, is like you could put this on a real estate video. You could put this on a vlog or a video game video, you know, and it still feels appropriate. And that's what I think the mark of a, a good template is, is you can put it on anything. Definitely. It's so simple. Uh, it, it's very tempting to go 
all in on style and like hyper specific audience. But like you said, I think there's a need for, you know, pretty bare bones, simple stuff that people can use and customize to their specific context. And yeah. that's so, sort of, so you're making, you said you're making a few of these. Yes. So this is available now. Um, and, uh, this is available free for a limited time. And then this is going to be part of a larger paid product. Um, mm -hmm. and so I've started building out, you know, a broader array. This one is, you know, just a filled in pie chart. We have a simple, uh, slide line graph. That's all, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, mathematically correct. So this one, you know, still being built. So we're in fusion, but if I pull up the select number, the math will all work out. Like no matter what I set as my maximum, my minimum line here, um, because of the math on the back end, which, you know, is fairly basic, like fifth grade, we're, we're adding and dividing numbers. When the system is in place to look at numbers and do the math, everything stays, you know, pixel perfect. Like all your yeah. values are going to come together really well. So the editor, whoever's using this can just type in the values and it will automatically animate to the right value and they don't have to do any math themselves. It's all under the hood, right? Yes. Um, we're trying to keep things simple, but flexible. This one I do really like of just like, Hey, pie chart numbers, depending on how big each individual section goes, all the numbers react, add up to the same core number, no matter how big each individual section is. Um, but it, you know, it stays dynamic. It's based off math and it feels in intimidating, but I can do the intimidating thing and make it accessible for people that just want a drag and drop solution. Um, so the plan right now is we have a real simple little tool for free now. And as we build this pack, the goal is to have something, you know, a different, uh, uh, preset, you know, sort of weekly free rotation. So people can grab that, see if they like it and whether they've like missed a preset that was previously free or they just want to jump in buy the whole pack. Um, we're sort of, sort of offering different options of you can try something. Uh, if you follow along, you'll get multiple different ones for free, even if you don't want to yeah. buy the whole pack. I think, like we said, filling a pretty cool little need of basic but flexible and powerful presets. Oh, that's so cool. So if you need to visualize data or, you know, show metrics or anything on your videos, which I know a lot of us do, uh, this is a great thing. You can get it for free right now. I mean, this is your chance, but I mean, pretty soon it's going to be part of a pack, which I'm sure is going to be super useful and is probably a no brainer to buy anyway, but you get it for free right now. So you should probably go get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so cool, man, dude. I'm so excited for the things you're building. Like this is I, every time you come out with something, I'm just like, dang, this guy's a freaking genius. And it's so cool to see the things you're working with. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. I, I build things I think are cool. And so it's nice when other people think they're cool too. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to Patrick for showing me the ins and outs of these new graphs. These are so cool, so useful. Make sure to subscribe to Patrick's channel if you haven't. And there's a link in the description where you can get these templates for free for a limited time. Okay. I want everybody in here to do that. So go ahead and do such a thing.